Hello, fools. I'm late as fuck. I was supposed to wash my hair last night, but I ended up washing it this morning, so. Now I'm leaving. So, let's go. Hopefully, I don't hit a curb. Okay, well, I'm parked in a gym parking lot, and I'm about to do this little food Starbucks review. I got four things. I feel like I look fucking weird in my hair. I have a new haircut, so look. It's just cut differently, so I'm not used to it, and my head looks extra fucking big. But, I think... I'm just going to leave it like this. Um, n not too much on my big ass head. Okay, thanks. So here we go. I'll show Honestly, you I who parks at a gym and then decides to do a Starbucks review? Me, bitch. How about like half up, half down? This doesn't look too bad, I guess. Okay. First, I'll tell you what I got. Um, I'm in a pretty good mood today. I got a Trenta Passion Fruit Tea Lemonade with three pumps of raspberry syrup. Usually they fill this bitch up with ice and it is lacking. We got that for a refresher. Then I couldn't go to Starbucks without getting a coffee. So I got a tall iced caramel macchiato with vanilla sweet cream cold foam on top and this is what it this is what she looks like Ooh. people are literally coming here to work out and i'm here in the parking lot eating well i'm about to eat something and like making videos embarrassing okay so there's my drinks let me take a little thumbnail there we go. Or should I look in the camera? Okay. Just kidding. Let's not mix those. That would be disgusting. And then I got... <gasps> I got a cinnamon raisin bagel with cream cheese and butter. And I've never tried the cinnamon raisin bagel from here. And of course, I had to get the chocolate croissant. But I tried that yesterday, so. Let's try the bagel first because I already know what the croissant tastes like. Mm. Uh, Starbucks cream cheese spread. They recently got Kraft cream cheese, but every time I try, like, the other day I thought about getting a bagel, a regular bagel, and I wanted to try the Kraft one, and I'm pretty sure I already know what it tastes like, but they always say, the Kraft one is sold out. Like, damn, how many people are getting bagels this morning? Like, every day? Well, anyways, I don't even think they have it, but maybe they do. They give you a fork. This is not a fork. This is a knife. Why did I put it on my forehead? I don't know. I'm not going to put butter on this. This is what the bagel looks like. So we take the cream cheese. And well, it's kind of hard to spread it with this knife. So, well, it's not doing too bad because the bagel is warmed up. I asked them to warm up the bagel. So... Oh, shoot. Oh, my God. There is a person walking behind me. He's walking. He didn't drive here. He walked. He's dedicated gym guy. Oh, wait. I'm a liar. He has a car. But he fucking walked past me. Probably, probably like, damn, that bitch is eating a bagel in her car. This is what it looks like. This is embarrassing. Okay, first bite. Okay, so first bite of Starbucks cinnamon raisin bagel. The raisins are coming off. Is that something it's supposed to do? Okay, here it is. I like to fold mine like, like I eat pizza. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, it's good. You can taste the cinnamon, you can taste the sweetness of the raisin. Yeah. It is good. One time, I went to Starbucks and ordered a bagel and I went to go bite it and I was chewing on it and it tastes like fucking dish dish soap like it tasted like cleaning supplies and I was like what the fuck same thing happened to me at Dunkin Donuts sometimes when I go to Dunkin <coughs> Dunkin Donuts to get coffee it tastes like burnt water like it's just fucking disgusting and then I tried their mini bagel bites soap. But when I was in New Mexico and my mom, uh, my mom went to go to Duncan to get my dad some donuts. She got me a donut and it tasted so good. So either it's my taste buds messing up or it's the place that I went to because that those fucking mini bagel bites were fucking disgusting. Mm -mm -mm. This is so good. The cinnamon and raisin one is the probably the best one to get. Yummy! Okay, now I'm going to try the iced caramel macchiato. I used to always, this used to be my go-to drink, but I never got sweet cream cold foam on top. Because it already has cream in it. So, let's try this. mix it around have you seen people shaking up their shit on tiktok like fucking weirdos <laughs> well i just did it so now i'm a fucking weirdo but i didn't do it like they did they were like to Canyon Lake and if y'all live over there let me know if there's a gym over there because I'm pretty a hundred percent sure there's not a Planet Fitness over there and that would be a waste of my money just to keep Planet Fitness unless I went there like in the Spring Branch area because there's a Planet Fitness there um but yeah like I don't know I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how I'm doing it. But I do know that there's like those groups you can work out in. Those, like you go there, like I did it in Wichita Falls. I forgot what it's called. But it's a group. You go there and you fucking... So last night I was just watching YouTube and then like this bright idea came in my head and I was like, I have the perfect idea for making videos in my car like content and the only way I can do that is if I get all these windows tinted and I still have yet to do that so and like I haven't done it because I don't know how much it cost and I honestly do not want to pay for it <laughs> um but obviously if I want to make that those videos I don't want people looking at I hate when people are looking at me when I'm making videos so could you imagine if I seen somebody staring at me like awkward 
but it's like the best idea I've ever had. Well, not the best idea, but I mean, I think it would work really good. Like the setup and everything, like the lights. The other thing would be, where would I park my car? Like, would I go to different places and just park in their parking lot and just say, yada, 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 and, um, Chipotle parking lot and McDonald's parking lot, like, you know, which parking lot where would I go to? Where would I be? Other stuff seems like a good idea, like my setup, like, I wouldn't be in the driver's seat, I'd be in the passenger seat. Things are just running through my head and I'm like, bitch, you gotta get those windows tinted. So, whenever I'd be up in the fucking Target parking lot doing my thing, swinging and banging. I'm gonna finish this bagel I have left. This is literally what I have left of it. And then I'm gonna go to my next client. I'm so lazy. I'm lazy again. I just feel lazy. Like, I could just pop my chair back and fall asleep. I wonder how many people do that. They just take a nap in their car, like randomly. Mm -hmm. The girl I used to work with used to climb in the back of her Jeep and sleep in there <laughs> until we had to leave. <laughs> the cinnamon raisin bagel from Starbucks is a 10 out of 10, I would recommend. You don't need to put butter on it. Just slap some cream cheese on that bitch. <laughs> it's good. It's so good. The caramel macchiato does not taste good with sweet cream cold foam on top. Just get it regular. I'll try to be a fancy. I'll try to be a fancy gal. See what it would taste like, but I like it regular, so. regular schmegula y'all want me to try the refresher let's try the refresher I'm a barbarian just kidding okay this is the passion tea tango lemonade with three pumps of raspberry. Yikes! <laughs> it's sour, but it's good. Have y'all ever been swimming and then went to a gas station or like me I used to go on base at Holloman Air Force Base and go swimming and they would have the hush puppy slushies this tastes like a hush puppy sl 